Hey y'all, welcome back to Ascending with Ashley. I'm Ashley. Uh, I don't know what this is. I guess this is a Homesteading Diaries, which I haven't done in a long time. But if you don't know about the Homesteading um, Diaries, what that is, is I have an off-grid property and I am building a single mom and baby refuge. Um, but it's kind of... Like, our land is actually on hold, but, like, all the things that we're doing in, um, the space that we're living in right now are, like, building towards it. So, anyway, I don't have a lot of human friends. And recently, um, I don't know if you're on TikTok. If you're on TikTok, you might be familiar with the cat distribution sin um, system. You already know I have nine cats, too, if you've been here a while. But... We have a family of three living in our front yard and I'm feeding them. I think the babies are weaning um, and they're feral. But today, yesterday the mama kept coming by. She brought one of her babies like last week and I've been feeding her since I knew there was a baby. Um, keeping food out there. But anyway, all this to say, let me show you the babies. But I also think that maybe, look this one. <laughs> maybe I'm supposed to save all the kitty mommies and babies. So we already have, my family is a, my cat family is a three generation family. Yes, there was incest involved. That's why I felt a moral obligation to keep everybody. Um, and so anyway, let me show you these babies because they're so cute. The babies are always cute. We have this big baby right now. This one. She's only a few months old. The shelter told me that she was like two. Get her here. She chews up everything. She's a puppy. Anyway. I hope you can see them. When I scare them. Hey, it's a mess right now because I've got stuff to take. I don't know. Can you see them over there? Hi, baby. Hi, mama. I just had to scold one of the babes because it was climbing the tree. So anyway. Um, it's our new little cat family edition. Um, <laughs> I feel like I might get them. I don't know. We'll see. Because today they, hang, they hung out there all day. Um, me and I went on a little road trip too. But when we got back, like they were there this morning. And when I got back, that was the first time I've seen all the babies. I've only seen that orange one. Then when we got back from our little road trip, they were still there. And so they're so cute. And the dogs were going crazy for a while, but now that there's babies, they just sit by the fence and watch them, which is really sweet. But I feel like if they're gonna stay close to us because if I'm not her main food source then um, I might get them fixed I probably will especially her um, but I'm just thinking so much about how um, like I have these goals for a human mother and children refuge but I get along with animals really well and I just I'm surrounded by animals all the time so I don't know I just wanted to share it's sweet but that's a lot of cats um, <laughs> I wasn't even a cat person until just a few years ago either, so it's kind of intense. But anyway, I wanted to share. If you're seeing me, I'm in front of the mural I painted yesterday. I think the sun is really intense right now. A lot of people are talking about how the sun is, um, like, changed at the eclipse, and, like, now it's, like, a big fluorescent light. If you're not on TikTok listening to what people are talking about... You definitely should be, because it's everything. It's crazy. Anyway, I feel really sunburnt, and I was out here yesterday. I didn't really notice. I've also been crying today. I kind of had a hard day, so. Um, yeah, just sitting here thinking about all the babies. Um, yeah. If you are a single mom, and you need, um, you know, a place or you want to raise your children together as single moms in like a community space. 
please reach out. Um, I'm working on, I got the estimate for the well, um, and it's pretty hefty, but <laughs> that's the next, um, I mean, that would be like the biggest project, even like including a house. I want to do an, um, like earth builds. But anyway, I'm working on networking and getting quotes, finding stuff, still in the process of building our homestead, even though it's kind of been on the back burner, but like everything in this yard, I mean, except the murals, is gonna be coming with us back up there. Um, but I would really love some other people with us and cats and dogs are welcome, obviously. I really want, I've been thinking a lot about space because we're in this one bedroom house and I built the catio and the dogs are in the yard and it's, we need like way more space. Um, so I've been kind of thinking about floor plans and or sheds, like the dogs would have a shed, the cats would have a shed with like a catio attached. So I'm just sitting over here dreaming about stuff. Um, thinking about that. We got more yellow paint. I ran out of yellow uh, yesterday. I'm all over the place. Like I said, today was a, a pretty intense day. But um, yeah, I wrote, Never mind. I don't wanna share that. <laughs> so um, yeah, I just wanted to share the kitties really. I'm not naming them, they're not mine to name, but I'm just caring for them. Um, and here's a reminder that if there's someone in your community, human, canine, feline, raccoon, trash panda, bird. Oh my God, did I tell you guys the bird story? I didn't. The other day, the dogs attacked a bird. Why did my neighbor just drive around the block? Um, they attacked a bird. Did I tell this story? I don't know. And then the bird like lost some feathers and it like froze. And I call my neighbor, she's an older woman and I just feel like, you know, she's that crone archetype. And I'm like, oh, I feel like you would know what to do. So yeah, sure as shit, she came over with her gloves and tried to get the bird and the bird flew away and the bird was fine. But like we love all animals in our yard and I'm not really keen on the circle of life happening in my backyard, um, so glad the bird was okay I mean it was okay enough to get out of our yard so it didn't get completely killed but um yeah crazy shit so anyway this is all homesteading stuff if and when we do get the homestead I mean when not if I don't think I would get a lot more animals I don't know I really like guinea pigs but I don't think I need guinea pigs like that there's prairie dogs out there in the desert <laughs> prairie dogs are so cute but I can't domesticate them so anyway, I'm just sitting here thinking about all these little babies, springtime. Today there was a butterfly playing with Nile. it was really cute. Um, <laughs> and then Daya tried to eat it, cause she's a fucking puppy. But yeah, um, that's all I got. I'm a little bored. Today was an emotionally heavy day. Um, so I'm happy to know that you know, I'm doing what I can to take care of everybody. But if you're a mom and you need some community, me too. Okay, this shit is so isolating. Um, and yeah. If you'd like, if you already have something going in a different state or anything either, definitely down to network. Um, I believe with what I want to build that it would be like a big network nationwide. That way we could get women who are escaping whatever situation with their children um, in different states we'd have different things but like I've been trying to organize a network and because us moms have so much struggle already on our individual lives it's really hard to find time to do stuff and then there's also just like that being a mom you know all of us have our own different ways of doing things so building mom units in community can be really challenging I mean so far it has been I've made a few mom friends, but like life is just so hard as a mom, especially a single mom. I'm so busy, you know. Um, I guess I just want to be more intentional about building community, and I am. I'm doing everything I fucking can. Um, but yeah. All right, 
I like this backdrop, it's nice. All right, y'all, I'll talk to you later. Have a good one.